Hello good people, what's going on? Good evening from Thaka, Bangladesh. Today uh, I'm doing three reviews. Um, so they are kind of shorter when I do series. I do shorter takes, not super long. Uh, hope it's okay with you. Some people do not like long videos. Some people do not like short videos. So mm, trying to make everybody happy, it's quite a challenging job. But thanks for all your support for watching my videos still for last four years. You know, sometimes I want to, I, I think, you know, and I want to say like how much uh, it means to me how grateful I am, you know, like this long, no channels usually survive. But uh, my craze for fragrance always stay the same and more. When people uh, show me love, they join my page, I always say I have three platforms apart from this. My official Facebook uh, page right now, that's where I do reviews on the page. Then I also have the hobby group and also like uh, Dikan group for only for Bangladesh. So today uh, I want to do another review for you. I think this line is super underrated, flew under the radar, didn't get the recognition it deserved. Some people, yeah, some people love this fragrance. Some people love this line. They are loyal to it. And now it's discontinued. That's why I think as long as they're still available, they are actually available for good prices in Bangladesh, you should get them, okay? So today I'm gonna be doing the last one from this line. As far as I know, there are three in this line. This is gonna be Bulgari Puram Swar, okay? Uh, this is the darker box. Other ones, the Bulgari Purum, a few days back I did. They are this color. Even the extreme one is this color with extreme written here. So this is a 100 ml box. And this is EDT concentration. Um, bottom looks like that. Made in Italy. Back, Bulgari. Up there, little bit dust. Sorry about that. <laughs> so this is the nice little box. So you see this everywhere, like people see this, they say BLV blue, they say Bulgari uh, Purom, but people usually buy the Bulgari Man in Black, that's the one thing they buy, and you guys buy Aqua, right? So Bulgari has a lot of other fragrances, you know, good, good fragrances. So here's the bottle, I think this looks lovely, simplistic, shade darker, like a tad bit darker than the original, okay? This is the original, side by side. As you can see, this one has this mild, uh, darker tone to it. Apart from the bottle is and everything is the same. Apart from the cap, uh, the cap here is black. The, this one, the original one, and also the extreme which I have are see-through bottles caps. I mean, sorry, see-through caps, not bottles. So that's the difference between the bottles, same shape. So this one, uh, I think the cap is a bit heavier than the rest. Yes, this one is fully metal. The other ones are kind of plastic. That's why I was right, the bottle is a bit heavier. So this perfume, the sprayer is massive. Take a look at the bottle once again. Nice little design, simplistic and kind of classy. Uh, I love the sprayers. Amazing beast mode sprayers. Check out the sprayers. Okay. This one, solid shooter. Okay. And then they have Bulgari written all over the cap. Kind of reminds me of Bulgari Black. So now, what is this fragrance about? Is this the best from this line? Okay. First of all, you, you can actually uh, see it. It's very not the same with the other two. This one has kind of a little bit of darkness, a little bit more body to it, and a little bit more gutsy. The other two, they stay safe. This one has the DNA of the other ones, like the original one, and then the extreme. If you love those, this two has a T note, okay? Like, sort of like a black T note, which is also in this, but they added some notes to it. To my nose, uh, there is a woody element to it, okay? A little bit darker, and I think they added something else to it. I think there's a neroli, I'm, I could be wrong, you know, totally I could be wrong, but there is something fresh added to it. At the same time, the tea is there, but the woody, you know, like, let me check if I am correct. I read it like a few, oh, couple of hours back. Uh, yeah, this is tea note. And then this one is a papyrus note. Okay. And then amber and citrus. So the citrus perhaps is playing the trick. I'm feeling like neroli, but it's kind of like, a, it will remind you of Gucci Purum too, okay? And I want to try T42 by La Artisan Perfumery. I heard, a good, I heard good things about it. But this right here, for the price what you get, Gucci Purum 2 is supremely expensive now. Even if you find a 50 ml, that will cost you like nearly $100. Why pay that price? That one doesn't perform. That one has nutmeg, but this one also has some spicy kick to it. So it's dark, it's masculine. It could be worn during evening. It's a like darker version of Bulgari Purum. So very, very sophisticated, very masculine, a lot of character to the fragrance. 
so the negatives of this fragrance could be it could be too much for some people i read comments people said uh, this is too strong the t note pops up too much and i don't like it so if you do not like enjoy the t note perhaps skip it but if you like tea based fragrances if you like little bit sophisticated masculine fragrances and that has some citrus to it a little bit like reminds me sort of like chanel's uh, uh egoist no not egoist one of the fragrance i think egoist yeah egoist has a rose note a rosewood note so sort of like woody sort of a feel but i'm not sure i could be wrong so nice strong fragrance lasts a long time but but you guys ask me like is this the best from the line and i would say no my most favorite in this line is still the extreme version this one it's so strong this one it's a lot more tea to it there's some citrus to it but it's more clean and fresh this one i think my number two and followed by number three would be the original okay so maybe in future i'll do like a line talk but i think i have done the reviews it's already enough check it out bulgari puram soar I think this fragrance I'll give it like solid 8.5 out of 10. Definitely check it out. It's a unique perfume, and since this continued, this continued, perhaps you want to get a bottle before it disappears from the market. Take care, guys. I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.